welcome to GTech. Today we are going to see about basics of algebra. So algebra is a mathematical expression model used for basic calculations. So usually an algebraic expression will be represented as x plus 2 g equals to y. So we will understand this kind of basic expression in a mathematical model. Say for example a rectangle with length 7 and width as 3 in the unit centimeter. So how we will be identifying the perimeter of this rectangle? So the perimeter P is equals to length 7 plus width 3 plus length 7 plus width 3 as it is having 4 sides we are making it as such so the total is 20 centimeters so this is one way of identifying the perimeter of this rectangle now we will make some uh, few adjustment instead of 7 and 3 as length and width we will give it as L in the length side and W in the width as the character so the calculation part uh, will get differed a little right so how we can identify the perimeter of the rectangle if I mention the length as L and width as W without assigning any values initially so the perimeter P is equals to L plus W plus L plus W that is four sides so I am measuring it as such so 2 L that is 2 times L and 2 times W so 2 L plus 2 W right now I am going to assign the value of L and W that is I am going to assign the value of L as 7 and I am going to assign the value of W as 3. So what will be the answer? 2 times of L is 14 and 2 times of uh, W is uh, 6. So the total is 20. So this is the second way of identifying the perimeter of the rectangle using expressions. So this second model is used in the algebraic expression. Right? Now we will see some other examples. So I am going to give one expression that is 4 into x okay that is 4 times x. So 4 into x we can represent it as 4x. So we can assign some value to the x so that the answer will get variated. So if the x value is 3 then 4 into 3 that is 4 into 3x is 12 similarly if it is 7 it is 28 all right we'll see some new example that is 5 into a i'm giving one character so 5 into a we can represent it as 5a by assigning value to a the expression will get different that is here 5 into 1 times the a is 5a if I put something like uh, 2a it is 10a 5 into 2a will be 10a ok we will see some more examples so that uh, we can understand this algebraic expressions and basics operation in algebra ec so I am taking a new expression 4x plus 5y plus 2x. Here you have to notice this equation that twice I had used the x component. So 4x and 2x are the x component has been used. So to simplify this equation I have to simply add the x component first. That is 4x plus 2x is 6x plus the y component has been mentioned only one time that is 5y so I am directly giving it as 5y that is 6x plus 5y ok 
Now we will see some more example. So x square I am taking differently. x square plus 8x minus 5x plus 2. So I given x component 2 times and x square component 1 time. So x square plus 8x minus 5x plus 2 is the equation. So 8x minus 5x. So I am going to directly subtract it. So there is no other x square I am having. I have to make it in an order. So I am giving it as x square plus 8x minus 5x is. First I will write down x square plus 8x minus 5x is 3x as I subtracted it and the remaining is 2. So x square plus 3x plus 2. Now we will see some other example 3y plus 2x plus 4y. So here you can notice something like uh, the y component has been came twice that is 3y and 4y right. So simply we can add it so that our equation gets simplified that is 4y and the remaining one component is x component that is simply 2x so 7y plus 2x ok. We will see some more example by making it expand so that 7 times of y I am giving and 2 times of x so if we assign some value in the y and the x consider y is equals to 3 and x is equals to 2 by assigning the y and x value to the expression 7 into y 3 is 21 7 into 3 21 plus 2 into 2 is 4 so totally 25 we are applying right we will see some more new example to understand this algebra better ok let us consider uh, some equations like uh, 6x into 3y equals to so 6 into 3 is 18 so I am giving directly as 6x into 3y equals to 18 so 6 into 3 is 18 so the remaining uh, number we cannot able to give it right so only the character is missing over there 6 into 3 has been given 18 so x and y is missing so the answer is 18 x y ok now we'll see in another example 5 x into 3 y so 5 times of x component into 3 times of y component that is equals to first we have to calculate the numbers 5 into 3 15 then we have to add up this character x and y so 15 x y so the next example 4 x into x that is 4 x of x 4 x times of x So 4 into x into x that is the x has been present twice but we are multiplying it. So x into x is x square. So the answer will be 4x square. Okay. So let's see another one example 3x into 4 x ok so 3 into 4 right so 3 first of all I will expand it 3 times of x into 4 times of x 
so 3 into x into 4 into x so 3 into 4 is 12 and x into x so I am going to mention it as x into x so twice the x has been came so it's 12 x square right we will see some more example minus 2 x y into 3 y ok so we can mention it as minus 2 x into y into 3 into y that is minus 2 times of x y that is minus 2 times of x and y into 3 times of y so first we have to multiply the numbers minus 2 and 3 so it's 6 actually so minus 6 as the negative symbol has came in one side then x then 2 times the y has came that is y into y so minus 6x six y square oh, let us see some more examples so we will write down some phi equation and solve it at a time so I am writing the first equation as 3x plus 2y minus 2x and my second equation x square plus 3x plus 2x square minus y so this one is quite different from the first one right I am going to give the third equation as 3x into 4y and my fourth equation as 3x into 2x so there is no y component my fifth equation is in the negative sign minus 2y into 3xy so we are going to calculate I mean we are going to simplify this phi expression so I repeat once again from the first equation to the fifth equation that is 3x plus 2y minus 2x as first equation x square plus 3x plus 2x square minus y as my second equation 3x into 4y as my third equation and my fourth equation is 3x into 2x and my fifth equation as minus 2y into 3xy and I will get an answer I mean I have to simplify my phi equations so it's, let's take the first equation 3x plus 2y minus 2x so 3x and 2x are the 2x component present in the first equation so it's in the minus sign so it's simply x plus 2y then my second equation x square plus 3x plus 2x square minus y so twice I get to x square component so it's in the addition symbol so it's 3x square plus 3x the remaining one and the final one minus y so 3x square plus 3x minus y now we will take the third one 3x into 4y right there is only single x and y term so first we can write it as 3 times of x into 4 times of y so first we have to multiply the numbers 3 into 4 12 and 1x 1y in the multiplication so 12xy right now we will consider the fourth one 3x into 2x both are x component so 3 we will expand it 3 times of x into 2 times of x so we can make it out as 
the number as first so, so 3 into 2 is 6 and 2 times the x came so x into x is x square so the next one we will consider the next one first one so minus 2y into 3xy so we will expand it as minus 2 times the y and into 3 times x y so the y has been came twice so we will make the multiplication first for the number that is minus 2 into 3, three is minus 6 so 1x and 2y is y into y y square so minus 6x y square so we came to the end of the session that is we have identified the phi equations I mean we have simplified the phi equation with our basic algebraic concepts. So thank you.